Okay, guys. Tonight we're going to do a little CNC versus hand porting. Now, CNC is great. Everyone knows it's wonderful. It's the best thing ever. But it depends who originally did the port before they digitized it. Now, this head here is an RPC, small block Chevy. This port here, you can still see it's still wet, is 230 cc's. All right, you can see it's got a pretty, it's got a pretty rough CNC pattern on it. And, and the rough pattern really doesn't bother me much. Um, I don't really have a problem with that. The valve job is not fantastic, okay? But I was given these to uh, give my uh, impression of. They were supposed to come through as just bare castings, but they wound up sending CNC ports. But this is how they came through. <laughs> uh, we've got the same hole and the same port on both heads. So, not the biggest deal in the world. I mean, that could be easily welded and, and fixed. So, what I did was, I took some pre preliminary flows of the intake and exhaust. I think I did, I think I wound up doing... Um, work on all all of the exhaust ports on both heads. I don't have a an untouched exhaust port. I'm sure I have the flows some for that though. I know I have the flows on a CNC intake and a second cut Charlie intake. So let me see. Uh what I obviously this is an RPC. So this is a Chinese cast thing, but it's the casting itself really doesn't look that terrible. I mean, the ports are massive. I think this was a. I think this is a dart copy, to be honest. I mean, some of the CNC work is pretty ugly. Like the bolt boss is is pretty ugly the way they they have that done. And a lot of these I didn't even. Uh, these these have some work done to them. What I was doing is I was going port by port and, and trying different things with them. This one I, I opened up and, and, and blew the wall out, which is not really that big a deal. I don't really care about that. Okay. And you can see this is, this is the one I cleaned up and just, um, I poured it. This was... 236 cc's. So I gained 6 cc's by porting it out. You know, like I said, this, the, the port shape isn't bad because I'm pretty sure it's a dark copy. But things like how, how they do the, the valve job and so forth makes a big difference. And uh, I did check a few a few seats. They really weren't that bad. That's this is a half a thousandth out. This is one thousand. This is three thousand. This is one thousand. The, the valve seats were not horrendous. The guides were a little tight. They would need a, a hone. But uh, as a as a casting, I mean, as a casting, it's really not that bad. Um, I forget somebody else is using this to do their CNC work. It seems pretty thick in, in, in some spots. Obviously, it's not thick enough in the bowl right there, right? And it's got issues with the where the bolt goes between the cylinders, which, like I said, is not that big a deal. Okay. All righty. They're cut for a 202 intake, all right? So this one was a 202 intake with no back cut. This was a second cut. I didn't write whether it was a no back cut at all. Probably was, 
I'm sure it was no back cut. Otherwise, it would be it would be radically different um, in the middle here. So I'm sure I used the same valve. So we could take a look going down 37.740. Now this is a 230 cc CNC port. This is a Charlie second cut, which means the first cut I took, put it on the bench. I did some airspeed numbers. Then I said, hey, okay, figure out where, where the air is fast and slow. And then I do a little bit more to it. Okay. And I could see. I did, uh, I did some radius work on the lower cut of the valve job, and I did some work inside the bowl. Okay. 37.7 to 40.1, 73 to 77.1, 110 to 113, 143, 147, 177, 182. At 300, we're at 200, and 207.9, which isn't terrible. You got to remember though it's a big port. So it should it should get at least 300. All right, 222.5 232 240 251 260 to 77.6 273.5 with a p which means it's pulsing. All right. And then we've got at 700, we got 285.6. Oh, yeah, 240, 251, 260, 277, 273, 292.6, and 302.7. Okay, we got a decent pickup pretty much all the way across the board, which, which you should if you get port. But remember, it was CNC ported already. Now, you have to... If you take a good look at it, right, for a port that big, those numbers are not great. They really aren't. Even, even my numbers are not great. You know, that's a big port. Uh, 273 at 600. I think I did better than that with my, my Dart 007 heads that were 183 cc's. Huge difference, right, guys? Huge difference. Same size valve, but one port is absolutely massive. Now, so I can say the argument, um, CNC versus hand porting. I mean, if the person that does the original, right, does the original port, knows what he's doing, CNC ports are going to be great. You're going to... You'd be able to take them, put them on the bench, take some air speeds, and you'd be like, all right, this was done really well. Um, I don't see a lot of spots to improve. I mean, just a quick look at this chamber, and I can see a couple spots that I don't I don't like. I don't like the, the angle they have for the intake. It's too flat. And the angle for the exhaust is too high. So I would have I would have done that the opposite way almost carrying the 30 out, right, for pressure recovery around the intake would make a big difference. But there's no, they already took the metal away, so you can't do it. And here, you know, you guys know I like to recess it back so the exhaust goes under the, under the exhaust valve instead of over the top. Okay, we'll give a look at, at some of these. The, the CNC work is... Yeah, not not fantastic. There's quite a bit of core shift, but you know, core shift can be can be worked around if you know what you're doing. Okay, not terrible. You know, notice notice they're very similar port to port. Now, let's see. Okay, there's the there's a Charlie port. Okay. Okay, there's a Charlie short side radius. I don't remember how much work I did to it, but I'm sure I did some work to it. There's a CNC short side radius. It really doesn't look that terrible. Okay, I don't have a, a non 
ported exhaust to show you guys, but I can give you guys a quickie on a Charlie exhaust port. The port was already massive. I mean, they're, they're so big, they remind me of the old Pontiac small block Chevy uh, NASCAR heads. I got a set of them around somewhere. That's they're almost that big. They're they're huge. But Dart makes a big exhaust port like this as well. So that's why I think it's a Dart copy. Okay. This is 1.6 exhaust, no back cut. And this is a Charlie exhaust. So let's go down the list and see what we got. We got 30.4 34 .4, 64.4, 68.2, 96.6, 98.1, 116.5, 122.1, 133.1 with a P versus 140 without a P. Okay, P is not good. 150 to 157, uh, 6.7, 163.4, 170 170.1. 177.7, The problem with a port like this is it was gigantic to begin with. So where do you go? You know, you, it's not going to be easy to put metal back in. So you have to just take metal out of where you can. Now, I think it's kind of funny. One of uh, one of my comments on the 083 old Corvette heads was, you did those exhaust ports wrong from somebody I don't know. And you know it's what, what kind of cracks me up, right? Is they're not, they're not quite as good as these. But they're not too far off, and these are huge exhaust ports compared to the exhaust ports on the 083s. In fact, I had to uh, I had to go on Stan Weiss's site and take a look, and I looked up uh, Vortec Bowties exhausts. I think I think the 083s beat the small Vortec Bowtie and the large Vortec bow tie, as far as exhaust flow, with a much smaller exhaust port. So I can't wait for that guy to, to, to come back with his ex explanation of why those exhaust ports are not done right. Should I let the trolls bother me? They don't really bother me. I really don't have feelings. <laughs> People don't understand. I, I grew up on Long Island. I don't really have feelings. It just doesn't, it doesn't work that way. All right, and I'll just show you the Charlie uh, chamber. Did a little bit of work on the chamber, but there's not there's not a lot you can do because, I mean, you can see I, I did uh, I did some machining around the exhaust the way I like to, but I didn't go I didn't go crazy because at that point I had already decided that I wasn't thrilled with these, and uh, you know the person that told me to. Uh, give him a report whether these were good for for CNCing. I told him I'm like we could do we could do a lot better if we started out with a casting that was smaller. And uh he was like, "Okay, well, scrap that idea." So more junk I got laying around. Yeah, I could I can weld up the, the couple little spots they got in them. I may go, I don't know, it depends depends how bored I am. I may go and cut them all like that one and put like a 250 cc port in there and cut it for a decent size valve and see what i can do with these i mean they're at 300 now a port that big should be like 330 you know in reality that's just how i think in my mind anyway maybe maybe a little bit less than 330 all right guys wandering around and my mind is more scattered than usual. So, have a good night. Thanks.